Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Randy. Thanks for joining me today. So I wanted to bring you an update on this plant. This is the one from the Can I Save This Sunburn um, plant video, and it's been about a week and a half. And so I do have some updates, and I just wanted to bring you that. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. And um, if you're wondering what's going on, stick around. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and bring the notification bell and make sure you check out this video. Um, this is the one which is an update for this video. So in short, um, this is the plant here. And um, so what happened, basically one of my neighbors um, left their plant out too long and it got sunburned. And this is pretty much how it looked about a week, week and a half ago. And so basically all I did was put it in this container with a few pieces of popcorn to keep it elevated and put some water up under it and uh, for humidity and i would just fill this up to the popcorn level and then let it you know the humidity hum humidity kind of take over so i was hoping just by leaving this alone it would actually um, help keep this alive but as you can see it is not doing well here are basically the leaves that have fallen off over the last couple of days and it's kind of expected and sometimes you know you you have to resign to the fact that it may not here's more leaves that it may not make it but I again I'm not going to give up on it I am going to there's going to be one last ditch effort I'm going to use to try to save this particular plant and so um, I noticed that a lot of the the roots down at the bottom are getting soggy and yeah the kind of the roots are getting soggy and so i want to get it out of here and get it out of this mixture and try to get it into you know a more dry environment just to see if we can save it the the, the stem seems to be gone i really don't have a lot of hopes for it but you know why not give it a try for the next couple of weeks or so it's not going to hurt and it's not going to take too much out of my day to do that so what i am going to do in this case is I'm going to go on and get this nastiness out of here and so what I'm going to do in this case is this is a solution of black tea um, doesn't have to be anything special just a black tea uh, from what I understand the acids and tannins and things really work well with the plants I've never tried this so we're going to try to kind of try this together I'm going to take it out the medium I'm going to soak it in the tea for probably a couple of hours and then I'll take it out and I'm gonna put it in this terrarium here. And so with the terrarium, it's gonna create a humid environment. Now, I am not going to just wet this. I'm gonna pretty much spray this down so it is moist, but not soaking wet. And it's gonna create a humid kind of terrarium feeling um, in there, but it will give those roots a chance to like dry out. So they'll get soaked, they'll get wet and then we'll put it in here and this will keep them moist for a while and when I see them getting dry then I'm going to put it back in here so like I said first thing I'm going to do is let's get this out to see what we are dealing with here and so I forgot a chopstick and so instead of stopping the video I'm just going to take it out so yeah um, as you can see we have that was that big that was the big root there so it was under the, the the moisture so as you can see it's still thick and these are starting to dry out just a little bit and um, as you can see we have a lot of dry kind of papery roots here so I'm just going to clip all of those off so these this has been dipped and I'm just gonna clip like I said I'm not too worried about it like I said I'm not really expecting this one to make it and that is that's the life of the party sometime trying to rescue plants sometimes sometimes it works sometimes it didn't it doesn't but I'm just going to just cut off anything that looks like it can be a hazard and just soggy so that's still pretty let's see here that can go and if it's brown it's going if it's white or green it's staying so I'm just gonna clip all those off real fast and like I said there, I mean, 
there's still a lot of green here, a lot of green here. So, you know, who knows what it may do. And so that's why I'm actually not giving up on it. I see that the crown is gone, uh, but who knows? It could technically throw something from right in this node here or here, there could still a possibility that it could throw a a cakey um, from one of these nodes here. It's not going to come here because here was a spike. You can see where I cut the spike there, and then we're going to. So hopefully it'll. Yeah, it's look like a second spike there. So the only place we're really going to have hope is probably right here. And I'm not quite sure it will, but we're we're going to see. So I'm just going to kind of clean this out. And for time's sake, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I got this cleaned off and I'll probably clean it off some more. But what I am going to do is basically just take this and submerge it in. Just submerge this inside this tea and I will leave it in here for a couple of hours and let those really hydrate, get really full. As you can see, those are turning, that, look how fast that turned green. Those are green already. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let those hydrate in this tea for a couple of hours. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna take it out and this is where it's gonna kinda live for the next few weeks. So I'm just gonna drop it in here and it's gonna be, you know, like I said, like a terrarium. And that way, It'll keep them moist because we're getting hot around here. It'll keep it moist and but also give it a lot of airflow. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. And just just to see if for some odd reason that doesn't have to be in there. So I'm going to let those kind of hang out. But for some odd reason, if it throws a new cakey, throws a new root or something like that, you know, again, I got the I have it here is not going to cost me a lot of time, you know, or, or effort. So why not give it a try? So um, I will come back with another update, you know, in a week or two just to let you know what happened. So, yeah, that's it for me today. Um, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for following along. Thanks for the encouragement because I did get some encouragement of people saying, hey, you know what? I feel like if anybody can save this plant, you can. So I'm glad you have that much faith in me. In me, But, you know, sometimes we do lose them and it's just kind of part of the game and you just kind of pack up and try again. So um, anyway, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ring the notification bell and leave a comment. If you have another method, please leave a comment um, below. And um, if you haven't yet gone over to the Black Orchid Project channel, that's kind of where our community is growing and also on Instagram at Black Orchid Pri at the Black Orchid Project. So until next time, be safe more than anything. More importantly, I'm sorry, be kind. Never give up on them. And until next time, peace.